Hey guys, welcome back to The Dangin. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware to the latest version on your Epson LS12000 laser projector. Stick around. Alright everyone, like I mentioned before, on today's episode we're going to update that firmware on your Epson LS12000. This can be done one of two different ways. You can use a USB thumb drive and download the support firmware from the Epson website, or you can plug your laptop or your computer directly into the projector. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe, and let's get going. Okay, so the method I am going to do to update the firmware on my Epson LS12000 is I'm going to use a USB thumb drive. So right now I have my laptop in front of me and what I'm going to do is pull up the Epson support page for this LS12000 projector. Once the page is up, you'll make sure and go down to the downloads section. Once you select the downloads section, you'll see that it asks you to select your operating system. In this case, I'm using Windows 11, and as I select Windows 11, the firmware pops up for the Epson LS12000. The firmware version that I'm updating to is version 1.11. Once I select download, you'll see that the screen changes to the download screen in the top right. Once the download is complete, go to the downloads folder. You'll see in the recent files, here is the Epson software. The next thing we will do is open up and drag that software to the USB drive. Once it's in the USB drive, you'll see that it continues to load. And when that step is complete, it's time to move on to the projector. Now that the software is showing on my laptop as installed, on the USB thumb drive, I'm going to safely remove that thumb drive from the computer. Go down to the corner, eject mass storage device, and now it's telling me it's safe to remove the hardware. Okay, now let's take a look at the back of the Epson LS12000 projector. You'll see from left to right that we have a LAN input, a trigger out, a service port, and a USB port. In order to update the firmware with the thumb drive that we just downloaded the software onto, we're going to use this USB-A 5 volt 2.0 amp USB connection on the back of the projector. The other way you can update it if you don't have a thumb drive is you can Plug a USB mini cable from your laptop into the service port of this projector and it will do essentially the same thing. Before you start any of these methods for updating firmware, make sure you turn on the projector. With the projector on, I am now going to insert the USB thumb drive into the back of the Epson LS12000. Once I do that, I'm going to hit the menu button on the LS12000 remote. That brings up the user interface. Once the menu is up on the screen, go down to the bottom where it says initial slash all settings. Scroll right with the right arrow. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see firmware update. Go ahead and select that. Once you select that, we are now going to follow the instructions that says, connect the USB storage containing the firmware file. It will take a few minutes to update the firmware. When the firmware update is complete, the projector enters a standby status. Would you like to start the operation? We're going to select yes and now we'll let that process begin. As you can hear, 
the projector fan is running extremely loud during this software update. You can hear it with my, you can hear it with my microphone up there. Okay everyone, now that the Epson has completed installing the firmware via the USB thumb drive, we're going to check to make sure that the software is up to date by checking out the version information in the user interface. So what we'll do is we'll go to menu, we'll scroll down to information, and about the fifth selection from the bottom, which I'll zoom into here, right there where it says version main 2301564J5WWV111. That is the latest and greatest firmware available for the Epson LS12000. Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to today's episode here at the Dangen. Hopefully the firmware update for your Epson LS12000 goes very smooth. I really do feel that there are some slight improvements with this firmware update. I noticed that a little bit of the handshaking issues seem to be stabilized and also some of the picture quality, whether it's 1080p, 4K or 4K HDR, they seem to be a bit sharper and a little bit more smoothed out. So test it for yourself, get back to me, let me know what you think. But all in all, the process was easy and make sure you hit that like and subscribe for more videos going forward. Thanks again for joining me here in the Dangen and I'll talk to you guys next time.